Welcome in ladies and gents, so today we are going to be looking again at BQBot but this time we're going to look at channel points and how easy it is to set a channel point up inside BQBot and then all the commands that go with it. Anyway, enough, enough of me waffling, by the way, new trim, let's get into it. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into it, so we've got BQBot already open on the site, oh let me just get me, so we've got all the my current channel points, some that are highlighted, some that are not. Some I've made with with the onboard, some I've not. Uh, some I've made with with um, with BQBot. But we're going to create a new points redeem. So we need to go to the plus in the top right hand corner, um, and we're going to call this test two. And we're going to call the. We're going to give it. I don't know. We can set it at a hundred channel points. I'm going to save this to show that we can uh, let's just zoom out again we're going to save this and this now creates a see in the bottom right and i just missed it so where are we let's just save that again and it creates the channel point so that's now saved as a channel point i'm just going to quickly show you in the chat and uh, let me just go because we don't like that we like dark mode uh in the chat now, you, if my camera was out of the way, you can now see that it's created a new channel point called Test 2. I've got another one called Test 1. If you do want to delete this channel point, so we're going to go to there. If we go to Test 2 in that, we can either turn it off, turn it back on, or we can fully delete it as well. So just for an example, we will delete this one. And we'll go back to the chat. Uh, we'll just leave it as it is and now you can see it's no longer there in your channel points so it's perfect to be able to control them channel points what you do and don't want in there or if you want to turn one off for a certain stream or if you want to uh yeah you can adjust it as you go on the fly you don't have to go back into your create dashboard which you used to have to with certain programs and do all that so um so we're going to show this test one I've, i have actually created um it looks a little complicated, but it's it's so easy to do. Um, we're going to show you, basically all we're doing is, we're going to do it, so when we click test on the channel point, uh, it makes my camera move around the screen. We've done a previous video on, um, and I think it's, I think I said it so it does the high pitch voice as well. Um, <laughs> but the idea is um, you can just, once you've created some in OBS, you can trigger them filters with BQBot. Um, but I've also got a previous video, which will link in the description, or there'll be a card up at the top, about how to do camera movements um, inside OBS as well. So uh, make sure you do check that one out. Also, make sure you do like the video. Like it. Get it around there. We want to get BQBot out, out into the wide world. Come on anyway so so far what we've done is we've done some obs controls which you can find on the side here so you can do all these sections in here so you can add in different bits uh, see so obs controls which with obs uh, you can set your filter visibility the filter visibility uh source visibility send hot keys media controls source change uh source of mute text source uh, and there's advanced ones uh, I will not lie, I'm I'm still learning a bit myself, so advanced ones might be a bit too advanced for me at the moment. But we move. Um, so what we've done is we've now, in each section, we've done OBS source controls. And we've put a little pause in as well because we need it. Otherwise, each one will just activate all at once and you'll just get the last one at the end. And we don't want that. So we have put a little pause in. But just to add a pause in, it's so easy. You can just drag and drop it. And you can drag and drop any of these to where you want them. So we're going to set up the final section of this. Um, you can still see. I'm going to make sure because I don't want to. So filter visibility. We've got a filter set up on my nested camera scene, which is here. We want it to finish off with a zoom. Um, a zoom one in the middle of the scene. Um, and then I have it set in that, that one. It will... Uh, we'll go back uh, da, 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 da. so let me just try and find a way to let me just minimize it a little bit so you can see where I'm looking 
there we go so toggle so i've got it to toggle to turn on but we can toggle it to go back as well and you can get a certain time frame so if you want it to turn back you can after so many seconds but because it's a filter that just it, it is one that just toggles on and off anyway we just leave that but if you've got a uh, a source you want to turn on and off so like your camera or um different bits and pieces you can toggle it back to go back on after a certain time frame as well uh, but there's so much that you can do with this but now we've done that we're just going to press save we're going to go to the chats we're going to go to test and test, test again and now you will see the camera move it around the screen and then we finish with a zoom at the end and then it will go back to where it previously was um and then if we really want to i have got my hotkeys so i can put my camera back there because um, i think i actually missed a point where i wanted it to go back to the bottom right so we and we forgot to put in a little pause that's why it didn't go bottom right so we're going to go bottom right here and put that pause in there so we add that in we're going to test it once more and it should should in theory and i don't know if i have i could be still high pitched at the moment who knows <laughs> i don't think we are but um I've not got monitoring on. there we go and zoom boom we're there and we're back and for some reason it keeps going to that top right so we have to work that out uh, let's go to that uh yeah it, sh it should go back to the bottom right so there's a little little bug there from me which i can work out anyway um so yeah it's pretty pretty simple um like i say you can add say at the end of it you can add a tts module this drag and drop is so easy and you can move it up and down so can drag it back to the bottom there we can put a custom message we're going to put one in there subscribe to the youtube channel to do subscribe uh, make sure you do save it each time you do it that's maybe why it didn't didn't work that'll be why it didn't work i know why we're going to wang that up actually save that and then we can actually test it inside the bot as well i forgot about this section um you can just test it inside the bot so you can test it without the channel points here we go there we go subscribe to the youtube channel do it keep an eye out on the channel for uh, more bq bot content we are going to be there is another series we're going to do on a few other sections but bq bot uh is what we're going to be looking at i know there are um uh there's going to be alerts coming in the near future and stuff like that so definitely keep your eye on that because i think that will be brilliant when we when we do get it um but yeah keep your eyes peeled for more content subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one